Around 3,500 kilometers west of the mainland of Chile, land suddenly appears on the endless blue horizons of the Pacific. Rapa Nui, otherwise known as Easter Island. Three million years ago, volcanic activity created a small island of lava that extended over an area of approximately 160 square kilometers. Rapa Nui is one of the most remote places on Earth. Its closest neighbor is Pitcairn Island, more than 2,000 kilometers west. Since its discovery by Dutch sailors on Easter Sunday, 1722, there has been a great deal of interest in Easter Island. Part of the attraction of this island comes from its spectacular scenic beauty and natural splendor. In spite of its gradually increasing tourist trade, the island has retained its air of tranquility and is ideal for nature lovers and those interested in its history. Theories abound as to who were the first settlers to arrive on this tiny island. However, scientists believe that Easter Island's first inhabitants were from Eastern Polynesia. It is thought that their boats reached the rocky and 300 meter high steep cliffs of Rapa Nui in around 400 AD. But the island's main focal point is its gigantic and mysterious stone monuments that date back to late prehistoric times. These mighty statues have always stimulated a certain amount of fantasy as the island was thought to be part of a lost continent. The Dutch admiral, who gave his name to the island, Rogovain, thought that he had discovered the South Continent. However, the new continent soon turned out to be the volcanic island of Rapa Nui. The most recent volcanic activity on the island is thought to have taken place around 2,000 years ago. During the course of time, rainwater filled the volcanic crater of Rano Kaun. Nearly all the mighty figures, known as Moai, originated from the slopes of the Rano Raraku volcano. Its tough stone was an ideal sculpting material. The soft texture of this stone made it possible for the islanders to create tall, massive statues out of the rock within only a few weeks. In the former area of the sculptor's workshop and around Rano Raraku, 
there are still nearly 400 individually crafted Moai figures. After their completion, the 85-ton stone figures were carried down the slopes by the islanders. At that time, there were no pack animals such as horses on the island. It was only with the arrival of the Spanish, French and English in the 18th century that horses, goats and sheep reached Easter Island. A hundred years ago, a civil war devastated parts of the island. Consequently, these mighty stone figures were pulled to the ground. When in 1774, Captain Cook arrived on the island, he was greeted by a scene of devastation. Countless gravestones and statues had been violated and scattered across the landscape. The islanders' unique structures made scientists, such as Tor Heyerdahl, believe that the islanders had originated from South America. Yet regardless of all the speculation in connection with the exact origin of the islanders, the remote island settlement of Rapa Nui is unique. Rock paintings known as petroglyphs indicate that a great transformation took place within this island society. During the 16th century, the bird people cult began to develop. This cult banned traditional ancestral worship at the island's gravestones and highly revered tough stone monuments. Savage battles resulted in the almost total annihilation of the Long Ears tribe. However, there was little time for the victors to celebrate their triumph. War had already depleted the island's scarce natural resources. During the 19th century, slave traders arrived and took with them thousands of the island's inhabitants. Those that were left of the island's religious leaders took their knowledge of the island and its culture to their graves. Thus, the exact meaning of these intriguing giant megalithic sculptures will remain an unsolved mystery for the rest of time.